Alright folks, it is time once again for another Latchkey Food Review and today, hold on. I had to fight to go get this out of the freezer. <laughs> Sorry about that. But we're going to try another one of these Celeste frozen pizzas, but this time we're going to try it in the air fryer. Last time we tried this out, it didn't work out to our benefit so well because I did it in the microwave and it was a little, I mean, it's good. Don't get me wrong. Microwave pizza has its purpose, but uh, these used to come with that microwave sheet on the bottom and uh, that crust was a lot crispier when that uh, microwavable safe sheet was included. So for some reason, the Celeste brand has quit doing that. Now they, they make a good, you know, quality little cheap pizza here for sure. And this one's just a regular cheese. But uh, we're gonna go throw this in the air fryer. Let me go over there and preheat it real quick. And uh, we'll throw it in there. And we'll talk about is it crispier, is it better? than when it's microwaved yeah we'll talk about all that once it's done <laughs> all right so the air fryer has heated up to 400 degrees and the thing i love about these ninja foodie air fryers well one thing i don't love about them is how loud they are the one thing i do love about them is how quick that temperature can get up there compared to a traditional oven at 400 degrees can come quick we're gonna it's not gonna take 30 minutes i'm just gonna keep an eye on it until i see the cheese good and melted on it uh where it starts to brown just a little bit on the edges of the pizza and the cheese and then we'll take it out and see if it's a little more crispy in the air fryer uh the bottom of it still has that swirl design on it like it's still made to get crisp up you know but missing that microwavable sleeve it just ain't happening in the microwave no more without it. <laughs> so uh, we're going to try the air fryer version of it. Stay tuned. All right, so it has been in here a minute. And uh, it does look a little browner on the sides. The top definitely looks browner. Uh, that is because it was cooked in the oven compared to the microwave, but we're going to see how it tastes. Let me get set up here and we'll uh, dig into this thing and uh, I'll let you know. All right, so let's check out this situation. Sounds a little crispier. We got some brown on the bottom there. But we also got some brown on that cheese that we don't normally get. From the microwave version. Oh yeah, that helped with that crispiness of that crust, and I think this pizza is meant to be ate with a crispier crust. Judging by the rigid designs on the bottom, it's supposed to capture that crispy texture. It almost looks like the shape of a bullseye back there, if you can see that. Oh yeah. Air fryer or oven is the way to go when it comes to heating one of these up this brand the Celeste brand if you're looking for that crispier and crunch crunchier texture coming from the crust itself which uh, the last one the microwave version didn't have it but this one This one has it all day long. It's 
Some brands are meant to be crispy. Some are meant to be not not as crispy. This one's definitely better with a little bit of crunch to it. For sure. Much more enjoyable. Not that the microwave version was bad or unedible or anything, mind you. This is just a preferred way, a preferred preferred method for this particular brand of tiny frozen pizzas because they got a bunch of them out there. I'm digging that. 370 something calories for anybody who's interested. I can't remember. 372, 375, somewhere around there. These are good little pizzas here. My only regret. My only regret is that I wished that I would have microwaved this one first and tried it in the microwave. And the Supreme that I had the other day, I wished I would have done it in the air fryer. Would have been the only difference. I would have, uh, I would have definitely uh, preferred, but. Uh, Hey, this is this is better in the microwave. Uh, just so you know, two big huge thumbs up. It moves up from the thumb and a half to two thumbs up, big time. Once you heat it proper in the proper type of oven or uh, air fryer, in my instance. Uh, unless you know they go back to the microwavable sleeve, which I think they should do, cause uh, it was a mistake getting rid of that. The price went up and the sleeve went away. Go figure. All right, folks, that is all I have for this review. So until the next one, you folks have a good one.